Okay, hey YouTube, iPod Touch Steamer here, and today I'm going to show you how to make your own custom lock and unlock sounds for the iPod Touch. Um, so let's get started. So first off, make a new folder, name it whatever you want. I already made it, and I named it Castle Crashers Sounds, because Castle Crashers Sounds are just easy to find. And then go make a new folder inside that, name it UI Sounds, with, and U... Uh, capital U, capital I, capital S, O U N D S, and the O U N D S is lowercase. So it should be capital U, capital I, capital S, lowercase O, lowercase U, lowercase N, lowercase D, lowercase S. And then in here is where you're gonna drag and drop your files or your lock sounds and unlock sounds. Um. Uh, I'm just not going to have this name lock right now, because I'll probably change it, but, um, on, let me just fix this up a little bit, and have, like, a bunch of folders open, okay, so go ahead, and I'll have a download link for this in the, in the description, it's called Odyssey, um, it's pretty much just a file editing software, um, so go ahead and go do file, open, and go to your desktop or wherever you saved the folder, and then, or the file, the mp3 file, and go ahead and just open it back up in here, and I'll import it, <coughs> and now we can just edit it up, uh, I'm gonna go over here to the zoom in tool, and just zoom in a bunch so I can see, or I'm gonna, yeah, this is good. Um, okay, so now we can see up to like pretty much every second. So then just highlight from about three seconds or two seconds. Alright, I'm going to stop it at 3 seconds because that is when I want my lock sound to stop. So then just highlight from there all the way to the end of the song. This kind of takes a while since you zoomed in a bunch. Or since I zoomed in a bunch, but you'll probably do that too. If you're following this video. Um, so yeah, so just... Hold on, almost there. Okay. So then once you get to there, just hit delete on your keyboard and it should just go away. And then you'll have this. So when I click play, all it is is this instead of the full song listen. Oh. Ah. Uh. Okay. But it cuts off at the end like a, a lot. So we don't want that. So I zoomed in a bunch more, and then I'm going to go, I'm going to highlight a little piece at the end that I want, and then I'm going to click effect, and then fade out, and then it should sound like this, like, oh, uh, right at the end, like, like it just fades, okay, so then do file, export as mp3, and then just save it to your desktop. And then, if that pops up, just click yes. And now you'll have the edited version of it, um, which is right here. And so go, if you haven't already done this or don't know how to do it, go to Start, Control Panel, <coughs> Appearance and Themes, Folder Options, View, and scroll down and sh uh, it should say hide extensions for known file types you're gonna uncheck that normally it'll be checked but uncheck it and then go back to your full your file and then rename it I'm gonna rename it lock dot calf um, and if this pops up just click yes and it has to be a dot calf file if you don't uh, rename it to a .cat file, it will not work. 
So then I'm just going to make a copy of it so I can sh so I can pretty much just show you what it should be. So this is what it should be if it's your lock sound, lock.calf. And this is what it should be for your unlock sound, unlock.calf. So then now we're going to go ahead and open up um our castle crasher sounds and then UI sounds and drag and drop our sounds into there. And that's it. Just you just have to SSH it into your iPod. I'm not gonna do it because I already have pretty much the same thing on my iPod and you still won't be able to see it, but when I unlock it, it'll just be like or when I lock it or lock it or unlock it in this case, it'll just be like So that's it. Um, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.